Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Reanimator, the novelization by Jeff Roven. This is from Encyclopocalypse Publications. Um, before I get started, quick apology, I'm sick, so there's going to be coughing and sniffling and me sucking on a cough drop. That's out of the way. Let's get to this. So, first of all, uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the movie Reanimator, uh, loosely based on the H.P. Lovecraft short stories, I think there's three that feature the character. Uh, Herbert West is a medical student. He is trying to bring the dead back to life with his reagent. He goes, after a mishap in Zurich, goes to Miskatonic University, and chaos ensues. Um, He moves in with a guy... Daniel something. Does it say his name on the back of this? Because I don't feel like looking it up. Kane. Daniel Kane moves in with him. They're roommates. Uh, so Daniel Kane gets involved, and there's a kind of crazy uh, doctor that teaches at Miskatonic Medical School, and the dean, the dean's daughter, who's dating Daniel Kane, all this stuff. Um, so love, love, love the movie. One of my favorites. Um, crazy, gory, over the top, wonderful performance by Jeffrey Combs as Herbert West. So, I recently got this because I want to read more novelizations. Now, I'm going to spoil, I'm going straight to the end of the review to say, I only gave this two out of five on Goodreads, which is uh, their rating system says, it's okay. And normally, I don't review... Um, anything that I give less than three stars, but I kind of feel like I should, as a warning to people who might pick this up, um, so I'm doing this review, and it's okay. The, on the plus side, the author does add to the story. Uh, the movie starts right off the bat with, in Zurich, with screams, and some people rush into this room. Herbert West is there with Dr. Hans Gruber, before Die Hard ever came out. Uh, Dr. Hans Gruber, who is, his eyes are bugging out, he's bleeding, he's been hit with the reagent, brought back to life. Um, Some gross stuff happens, then we cut to the credits. Uh, This starts... I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before that, we get a backstory of Herbert West. We have interaction between Herbert West and Dr. Hans Gruber, um, why they're doing this, why uh, Gruber is the test subject, Um, a little bit about um, Dr. Hill, the the, the doctor we're going to meet at Miskatonic. so there, that kind of stuff is added, and there's bits of that throughout the book. Um, so it's nice to have a little more meat, some things we didn't see in the movie that have been added to the story. And that's probably the best thing I can say about this. Um, <laughs> one of the problems, not my biggest problem, but one of the problems I feel is the stuff that is straight from the movie it doesn't feel very well written or very fleshed out. To me, it just felt like someone was describing the scene from the movie. A to B to C. Um, now, fortunately, I've seen the movie enough. I could hear the characters' voices in my head as I'm reading it. So that adds a little bit to it for someone who's familiar with the movie. But it just... the 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 added material seemed heftier, seemed more fleshed out than the stuff that was actually from the movie. Um, And it it wasn't horribly written. I just don't think it was well written. Um, And then the thing that bugged me the most, and I don't know if this is the author, the publisher, who uh, this can be attributed to, 
There are chapters, but within chapters, there are no scene breaks. So for those of you, let me see. Hold on a second. Let me reach over here to one of the next books I'm going to review and see if I can find what I'm talking about. Oh, chapters, chapters. Where is the thing? Okay. Not the best example because it's the end of a page. But this is within a chapter. We have this space and this line that shows us we're transitioning to a different scene. This book does not have that. And so I was constantly taken out of the story, uh, becoming confused, for lack of a better way to put it, because I'm, I'm reading along, reading along, and yes, a paragraph has ended, but I, you know, I'm reading. Got a nice flow going. I get to the next sentence, and I'm halfway through that sentence or two sentences before I realize it's a completely different scene. And I have to stop and readjust. Oh, I'm not with Herbert and Dan Kane anymore. I'm now with Dan and his girlfriend, who I apologize, can't remember her name, played by the wonderful Barbara Crampton in the movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was really, really jarring every time this happened because I had to readjust um, and stop and go back to that point where there should be a break because it's a different scene. Um, so, yeah, because of those things, I, so I, I like the, the added material and I do, I, I enjoy the story. As I said, I, I love the movie, but as a novelization, this just doesn't really work. So it's okay. I can't remember what, I think one star in Goodreads is I didn't like it and I couldn't go quite that far. Um, so there you have it. It's, I just want people to know if you're a hardcore reanimator fan, maybe pick it up for that extra little bit of extra material, but just know um, that there are definitely issues with this book. Um, I picked up a number of novelizations from this publisher. Hopefully they don't have the same issues. Um, so there you go. That's Reanimator, the novelization by Jeff Roven. We will say based on the screenplay by Dennis Powley, William J. Norris, and Stuart Gordon. Of course, movies directed by Stuart Gordon. Um, and if you haven't seen the movie, if you like some hardcore, crazy, over-the-top, kind of goofy at times, horror, Reanimator, man, it's so fantastic. And, uh, yeah, watch the movie. Maybe stay away from the book. So, that's it. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to think of a question for this video. So, how about, for those movie watchers, what's your favorite H.P. Lovecraft adaptation? Um, I'm not saying necessarily the best or the closest adaptation. My answer would be Reanimator. Uh, even though, again, it's very loosely based on, on the stories. Um, I love the movie so much. From Beyond, another Stuart Gordon with... Uh, Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton. Ken Foree is in it. That's a great one. Uh, the Curse. I remember enjoying that back in, I think it's the 80s, maybe early 90s. I haven't watched The Color Out of Space with Nicolas Cage yet. I do have a copy of that. I hear I know a lot of people like Dagon, but I haven't seen the whole thing. Um, there's a silent black and white Call of Cthulhu that was made that's really good. But mine is Reanimator. I love it. I mean, there's so many. I could just keep naming different adaptations of Lovecraft. But I won't, because I don't want to bore you any more than I already have. But what, what do you like? Uh, if you're a Lovecraft fan, if you've watched Lovecraft movies, what is your favorite adaptation? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post spoiler warning. We try to be polite here at the Low Budget Review Show. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronin5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is ericsmith5757. That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. Uh, that's all I've got for you. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.